Particles are a great way to make your website stand out, so let's take a look at how to use TS Particles to add a little snow animation to your website. Okay, so to get started, we're first of all going to need to npm install React TS Particles and TS Particle. After that, we can head to app.jz and already start by adding a little particles component from React TS Particles. This particle component is going to have two parameters, one of which is going to be options, which will be an object that we will define later, and an init method. That init method will be a callback because it's required for the React logic to function properly, and it will basically just be an async method that takes in an engine and runs a wait load full with that engine. This is just some TS particles logic that we don't need to fully understand. There are some alternatives to loadful that will give you certain presets so that you don't need to configure everything in your options. But for our use case, this is totally fine. So we'll just put this as an init block in here. And if we now just look into our app, we can see that we already have something that slightly resembles particles of snow. But we can improve this. So let's head to our options and define the particles. So these particles are going to have a color, which will be defined using a value attribute. The value will be white. Then we're going to define a number, so how many particles we want to render, which in this case is just going to be 100 because we don't want to overwhelm the computer. We're going to define an opacity because we want some of our snow to be see-through so that it just looks nicer. So to do that, because we don't want to have everything be see-through, we're going to define an object with a min of 0.3 and a max of 1 because this is basically how you let the particles renderer decide what particles to use. You basically give it a range and it will just randomly distribute this range over all the particles. After that, we're going to define a shape, which in our case will have a type of circle, because we of course want our snow to be round. And lastly, we want size, which again will be a bit variable. So we'll add value min is 1 and max is 5. Just so it looks a bit cooler already. Now if we just head here, we can see the snow already looks a lot nicer than before but it should of course also move. So to make it move, we can add one more attribute, which is move. Then we need to define a direction, bottom right, say that it's enabled, because by default it won't be enabled even if you give some direction. Then we need to define a speed, which again can be variable, which is quite nice. So the min speed will be three and the max speed will be five, for example. And lastly, we, we can say if we want it to go down in a straight line or not, will say yes because otherwise it just doesn't look like snow and now we can see we've got this really nice snow animation right here of snow that's coming down from top left okay so i think this is really cool to just give your website a bit of extra flair but maybe you also want to improve your styling game so how about you check out this video where i'll show you how to use vanilla extract to basically integrate your styling into your typescript which is really cool so see you there